budget battle at the General Assembly is now moving across the hall to the Senate. House lawmakers signed off on their $22.2 billion budget proposal. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick joins us live from the General Assembly with a closer look at what has lawmakers divided and how it could affect your checkbook. Bo? Sean, the House vote was not close, 103 to 12, but there are some Democrats who say proposed tax cuts are going to end up hurting North Carolina. North Carolina can do better than this. We must do better than this. Some House Democrats say the state isn't going far enough with teacher pay raises and raises for state employees, and they point to where the state can get more money. I just deeply believe that this is missing from the debate. No one wants to talk about taxes. The House budget proposal increases the standard deduction on your income tax, meaning a bit more of your income would not be taxed. We're going to be responsible. We're going to fund those critical needs, but at the same time, we're not going to just go on a spending binge. Some Democrats say the tax cuts cost North Carolina $25 million, money that could go to teachers and state employees, although 30 House Democrats voted for the budget, including Wake County Representative Darren Jackson. The fact that we were able to give a a, a, a good a raise to state employees and make it across the board plus a bonus instead of just doing the bonus which doesn't help next year. For state employees a 2% raise and most would get a $500 bonus. For teachers an average raise of about 4%. I do believe that we are on a plan, um, long-term plan, for raising teacher pay. You can't provide the quality education for our children that they deserve if you don't have revenue. Again, the Senate will now come up with its budget proposal. Ahead at 6, you'll hear from a teacher about the message that she has for North Carolinians on this debate on whether to cut taxes. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina.